our Bill Wood joins us live with more this morning. Hey, Bill. Hello there, LBJ and Amy. And uh, you remember Disco David. He has an invitation. Oh, and look at Natasha over here with the hula hoops. Oh, yeah, she's, she's working up an appetite. Round of applause. <laughs> Which gets us back to Disco David, who is taking care of the food at Booth Fest. I sure am, and thanks to our wonderful food sponsors, uh, we'll have Evermore Water, uh, Duncan, Domino's Pizza, Fluff Gourmet Cotton Candy, Coke Products, a beat of root beer, New Orleans Snowballs to go. Jumbalaya, Jambalaya, Jambalaya, Jambalaya too, absolutely. Have you, yeah. have you tried all of these yourself? I, Are you the official taste well, tester? Well, you, you can't get in unless you make it through me with the food, <laughs> so yes, absolutely. The food is good. The cause is good. Dr. Aaron Carlin, come on in here. Sure. Boo Fest is an opportunity for people of all ages, kids of all abilities. What's Absolutely. the mission behind this uh, Halloween madness? Well, you know, we talked about the financial grant aspect, but the other part is it's community building and educating the community. You know, kids of all abilities love Halloween. They love to be together. And it's a great opportunity for kids to be trick-or-treating next to each other. And they realize, you know, we're not really different from one another. Um, they're gonna be trick-or-treating at 50 or 60 individual trick-or-treat stops, huge, anywhere. Like these that we're looking at oh, here and, in competition. Yeah. They'll be hula-hooping their way back over to David's food booth. You are what kind of doctor by profession? Um, so I'm a pediatric rehabilitation doctor. I take care of kids with all ranges of disabilities and I also do pediatric sports medicine. And you've been doing this for 15 years. 15 the money years. you raise at this goes to what specifically? So the money that we raise goes towards the families that we serve, the families of kids with disabilities to purchase things uh, items of medical necessity that get denied by insurance and Medicaid, wheelchairs, standards, home, car, van modifications, things like that. But then most of all, this is an event that is going to be tons of fun. It's going to get your kids sugared up. They're going to get... <laughs> David, did you hear that? That's right. Exactly. Gonna sugar them up. Gonna sugar them up good, baby. That's Disco Day. <laughs> For just two bucks, too. So, you know, we're not charging a lot to bring people, and this is a community building event. We get our funds from the great sponsors that we have. So come on out, it's a great take a cause. look at, yes, take a look at 15 all. 15 years you've been doing this. Doing we started with about 1,500 to 2,000 people showing up. Now we get about 10 grand, 10,000 that are coming every year. It's, are you gonna uh, be dressed like this? Like uh, the, the doctor, baseball pitcher, college? I actually won't. I have my own special outfit that I wear literally every year. In fact, with a costume contest, one year a kid won by dressing up in that outfit like me. He came with the same kind of hat, shirt, and shorts that I wear every single year, and he was the crowd favorite winner. He did the Dr. Carlin. He did. Natasha, spin us out of here. It will be hoops of fun, LBJ and Amy, I, out here at uh, Lakeview that. Hospital in Covington. It all starts yeah. at what time tomorrow, doctor? Starts at 9 a.m. for all families of kids with disabilities, and general admission is at 10, goes until three, and. One o'clock is the costume contest. Every kid on stage gets their 15 seconds of fame. And she makes her own hula hoops. Yeah, we'll be a prize that for that. Amazing. Thank you, Bill.